This is my first time to AOE. I've never felt as valued as I do right now. It's about celebrating all of you. The company continues to re-recruit me each and every day. I don't want you to have to worry about what you say and, and what's on your mind because we want to know. Look for learning. Look for development. Look for it in the unexpected places. Three very important leadership principles for all of us. Confidence, simplicity, speed. The first is understanding how to be confident. Didn't realize I was coming here to take my own perception of what confidence was and to let my guard down. So when we first heard the, the news of the filmmaking, I got a little freaked out. What are we doing? I was like, whoa. It always starts with fear for me. Oh my gosh, we have to share our secrets on camera? Like, how am I going to be comfortable? And how is this really going to work? And you're going to write a movie? And this is totally out of the box different. Jackie turned and she was like, it's OK. <laughs> this is a process. <laughs> Believe in your story. Keep it simple, personal, and real. And we're going to do it really, really fast. <laughs> I was thinking, how could writing a movie script about something personal that happened possibly relate back to what we could bring back to our stores of Victoria's Secret? Allow yourself to be guided on a very different journey. Right. When they put the tissues on our table, I was thinking, we need tissues? Something that you can describe in three sentences. To even read the initial question of what connection or interaction helped shape your life, the emotions started to come out. Did I want to go with my gut and share what I really thought when I had to contemplate a dream and what my dream truly would be? Did I want to be honest about it or say what would be easier without having to share my feelings about it? Kim really wants to be fearless. When she hears the garage door open, knows he's coming home. Strength of who I am with her. She would take like two hours to get ready. It just makes me want to be that, that person that she sees. My thinking about being grateful versus feeling sorry for myself. I felt extremely vulnerable with what I had to talk about or I chose to talk about. Things that shape exactly who I am. It was tough at first, they would just surface and then they went deep. The realness really started to seep out of everybody. I don't know. How do I help you? There's so much trust in the room, and we have so much confidence that our peer group is there to support us. Everyone making me feel like it was OK if, if I didn't sound right. She was sick a lot, like before I was 15, so I didn't have a childhood. And now we want to distill it, simplify it. When Julie came over and sort of helped me come to the words I really wanted to say, to go, oh, that is exactly what I want to say. I love to be a team player and I love to contribute. And I couldn't quite grasp what my contribution was going to be. I'm not going to get up there and just say anything. And then today I came in and I was like, Gene, I, I got it. I am the envelope that will keep your secret safe. Some of our group members were really nervous. When I thought of directing, I'm like, OK, you know, this is what I do at work, but how do I do this with a group of peers? Denise, be a big girl. Lead. Lead. That's what you do every day. Some of their stories were very emotional, and you could just feel everyone in the room was pulling for that person. There's people who are helping coach others. There's people who are dealing with emotions, and there's somebody there to support them. Just very similar to what you have to do in a store as a manager. I watch the director more. We started to say, let me give you that first line. Let me walk you through that line. And am I doing that for my team? Am I leading them in the right way? Not leading them down my way, because everyone told their own story. But let me start you off, and let me help. And then that just evolves and continues to evolve. It's still your story but we're telling it together. The best decision I've ever made was to build my dreams. Spiritually and physically. And the importance of balancing your family. Yeah, yeah, because it's natural. We have wardrobe, we have floor set. It really does relate back to the stores, and that's pretty cool. I'm inspired by love. So close to everyone here. I'm gonna feel a, a sense of loss when I leave. She's like the first person I've known that's going through something that I, that I have going on in my life, and I feel fortunate enough to have been able to discover that this week. And I can reach out to her for some support in my life as well. I'll okay. be there for you. Be confident 
about who you are, and also have a really strong ability to give that to others. Do you have it? Do you give it? I expected the leadership courses. I expected to learn more about leadership, but I didn't expect this at all. <laughs> when we learned about the leadership styles, I saw my own team in different quadrants. Yes, you have to have all of the right ingredients for success. You have to do things in a timely manner. You have to have speed. You have to have efficiency. But I think when you're in a leadership role, to, to connect with people, you have to show them that you care. Because that's going to make us more genuine. The next time I see him, it's not going to be about how was that dashboard or how was that business. It's truly going to be how is your family. And from, from my heart, I will really have them in my hearts and in my prayers as we go forward. The education we got out of this is going to last us a lifetime. And all I could think about today was best place to work and how this is going to help us. This is the best place to work. It truly does take an entire team. So I want to make sure that each of us goes back and we thank our team that helped us get here to this great. week. I think what matters most to me is that the brand is constantly reaffirming why we matter.